Hello everyone! In today's video we will be covering the C cases from the speed solving wiki and these are the ones where it looks like you have a C on the top layer and there are two of these one of them has a bar in the front if you put the C kind of facing away from you you know one of them has a bar and then one of them has a dot and then you have a dot and blinkers or you'll have a C and those are the only two cases and one of the good things about these cases is there is no left hand version of it so you don't have to learn to write a left hand version you can perform this one with the right hand version and you can perform this one with a right hand version so or a left hand version if you're better with left hand so there's only one version that you need to learn now you can learn both of them but you don't have to you can always execute it with a say a single alg and you don't have to learn the left hand version of that alg we're going to start with this one let's get started The first case we will cover is case number 46 from the speed solving wiki, and that's where you have the full bar across the front where you point your C away from you, and you'll have your full bar across the front because the other one is you'll just have a dot. And how we're going to solve this case is basically we're going to take out the back right slot like that. We're going to perform a sledgehammer on this piece here or this pair here, and then we're going to reinsert this back right slot and that will solve that case. So again, we take this back right slot out, and we don't fix the cross. So we, when we take it out, we're not fixing the cross. We immediately sledgehammer this pair, and then we insert this back into the right slot. What that looks like is we orient it like this, so your pair or your bar is on the right, and your C is facing to the left or the right, and we're going to perform it on the back right slot on your bar. So the left hand version of this. If you want to do the left hand, then you'll be doing it on this pair here. So we're taking the back right slot out, sledgehammer this pair, and then reinsert this back right slot. So again, take the back right slot out, sledgehammer, reinsert. Take the back right, sledgehammer, reinsert. And that solves your case. So it's a, a very easy case to remember how to do, and I'll show you in a second, it's, it's regripless as well. But again, we'll take this pair out, sledgehammer, and then reinsert. So here's your C case. You'll point your bar to the right or the left, and then on your bar, we'll take the back pair out. Sledgehammer this pair here. So if you're solving for green, this is the green, yellow, orange pair. So we're sledgehammering this pair, and then reinserting this back into place. So how we finger trick this one is we're going to take this back right pair out, but we're, first we're going to regrip. So we're just going to regrip to like this. So we're going to put our, a lot of people put their thumb up here, but basically all you have to do is put your thumb on the top of this. So we're regripping from here to here. We're going to take this back right pair out, sledgehammer this, so our finger's sitting right here, so we'll sledgehammer, and then we're going to reinsert this pair. But when you do that, we're not pushing up at the end of our sledgehammer. We're not going to push up with our thumb. We're going to pull down with our finger. And it's a little weird at first, but once you get used to it, it's it's much better than the alternatives. So again, we're going to regrip, take this back pair out. Our finger's right here to sledgehammer. We're going to pull down here. And then our finger's sitting right here to reinsert this pair in the back and then solve. So again, we will regrip, take this pair out, sledgehammer. And then as we're sledgehammering, we're cocking our finger here to get ready to pull down and then reinsert. So it feels a little funny at first, but once you get it, I mean, you need a decent cube to do it, but once you get it, then it's just a better way to do it. It's regripless besides that initial regrip. It flows very quickly and it's very fast out to do. So again, we will regrip, take this back pair out, sledgehammer this one in, pull down here, and then reinsert. And down. So it does require that one single initial regrip, but it's a very smooth out to do once you get that first or that uh, uh, finger pulling down to do. And if you don't like that, you can always do multiple regrips because you're going eventually you're going to have to go back to this anyways. So it's not the end of the world if you do a regular sledgehammer and then move in. So one more time. We will regrip, pull this pair out, sledgehammer here, pull down here, solve, then fix your cross. And at speed.
The other C case is oh, case number 34 from the speed solving wiki, and that's where you have your C case, and then you only have a dot and some blinkers instead of the bar along the front. And there's two basic ways to do this, and I went back and forth on which one I was going to show, and I'm just going to show a, a few of them, because one of them is an easy way to remember how to solve the case, and then the other one is a little longer, but in my mind it's a little faster, and it's a more of a regripless alg. So the first way to solve this case, and the easy way to solve it, is if you have your C here, point your dot away from you, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this pair out, we're going to rotate the cube, and then we're going to insert as if it was one of these insertions. So it's in the back right, it's the not oriented pair in the back right, so we will use this buffer to move it down, and then we'll perform on a sledgehammer, so we'll put that in place, move another buffer, fix your middle slice, and then fix, and that will solve that case. So again, we're right here, we'll move a buffer down, and I covered that insertion in my F2L series. It's the first video, I believe, it, I covered basic pair insertions. Uh, so if you have a pair that needs to go in the back and it's a non-oriented version of that pair, and it's sitting over the slot that it needs to be in the back right, then you can perform that insertion. So if you want a little more detail on that, that's how you do that. But basically, for to solve that C case, we're going to take this pair out, and then we're going to perform that insertion, but we're not going to do a rotation to perform that insertion. But that's what we are doing. So we'll take that pair out, and then normally we would insert, but in our case we don't want to insert, we just want to take this uh, top row, use it as a buffer pair, so we're going to move that in the back, sledgehammer this in, and then undo our back move, and that will solve that case. So again, take the pair out, perform a back move, sledgehammer this in, and then undo our back move. But still, that's pretty inefficient because you have weird back moves. So really what we'll do is we'll take our dot and we'll face it away from us. And there's two ways to solve it using this method. So using the method of taking it out and then performing that insert. We're doing the same moves, but if you orient it like this, we're going to take that out and then we're going to move this back piece and rotate the entire cube. So when we're, when we're doing our sledgehammer, we're going to sledgehammer like this. And then when we pull back up, we can pull both of these fingers here, this one and this one at the same time, and that will solve that case. So again, we'll take this pair out, and this does require a regrip. So we'll regrip, take that pair out, back move, and then when we rotate and push and pull both of them in, and that will solve that case. So again, we'll take it out, back move, push, and double solve. So if you orient it like this, with the dot away from you, we'll start with one of the corners. And you can do this from the left hand side too, it's it's a symmetrical case. But we're going to regrip, take it out, perform a back move, perform our sledgehammer, and then when we move this slot back in, we will this one and this one we're, we're pulling in. And I don't necessarily like that one, but that's the one that I used for the longest time. Now that's the first way to do that case. The second way to do this case, and what I feel is the better way to do it, it is a higher move count, but it seems to flow a little better. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take a pair out, so we're orient it like this. So you point the dot towards you, and then we're going to take a pair out next to the dot. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this pair out with a U2, and then we're going to do a F sexy move, F prime. So we're going to do the, the T1 case, F sexy move, F prime. And then you'll notice that that set up an easy case. So all we have to do is move the top layer over one, and then reinsert this pair, and that will solve your case. So again, we'll take it out with a two. We'll do an F sexy move F prime, so the T1 case. And then you'll notice that we have an easy pair insertion, so we'll just move it over, and then insert this pair. One more time, take it out with a two, F sexy move, insert this pair. So what that looks like, and you point the dot towards you this time. Last time we were doing it from this angle. We're going to point the dot towards you. We're going to take one of these front right pairs out with a U2. We're going to do an F, sexy move, F prime. And then you'll notice that here's our easy case. So we just move that over and insert. So one last time, take it out with an F, U2, F, sexy move, F prime. And then there's our easy case. We'll just reinsert our easy case. 
So this is how I always solve this case. It just seems like a little better way to solve this case. It's a couple more moves, but you can do it mostly rigorously. How we're going to execute this is we will take this pair out with the U2, so we have to initially regrip like that. We'll take it out with the U2, but we'll take it out with the opposite hand. And then we're going to move this back down, and now we're ready for our F section move. And then our F prime is going to be a push here. So we're going to push here. We're going to, and now we just have the easy case. So we're just going to push this into place. So if I move my hands, you can see the easy case is set up for insertion, and my hand's right here, so you just insert it like you normally would. So again, we will regrip, move it up, U2 it out of the way with the other hand, move it down into your F sexy move, F prime, but your F prime is going to be a push, and you're going to push your pair into position, and then insert it like that. So again, we will take it out, F sexy move, push, push, insert. And it's you orient it like this, your dot facing you, here's your pair, take it out, F sexy move, push, push, insert. So it's initial regrip, but that's the only regrip you need to do. And then once you get it, it's a pretty smooth algorithm to do. It's fast, and I still think it's a relatively easy way to learn as well. And at speed. That's it for the C cases. The next set of cases we will cover are your L cases, and they have the little L here. And there's three of these, so we'll cover all three of these in the next video. If you had any questions or comments in the current video, the C cases, leave them in the description below. And until next time, happy cubing.